Before we autofill a wall with cabinets, let's go to the General Options screen from the Shop Setup menu. There are only a few situations where this feature should be activated. In the great majority of cases, make sure this box is unchecked. Also, at the Job and Room Information screen, make sure you set the reveals around the refrigerator, the window, and the door so that the appropriate spacing is defined between your cabinets and these items. If you plan to be adding crown molding during your autofill, make sure you have a crown molding space defined, as well as a crown molding angle and height. To automatically fill a wall with appliances, cabinets, and even corner cabinets, click the autofill button at the lower right of the floor plan generator, and all of your walls will then be labeled by wall number. And the active side, the side that will be filled with cabinets, will be highlighted in red. Make sure the correct side of the wall you are interested in filling is highlighted. Since we are filling wall number one in this, in this example, this is the only side we are concerned with as being the correct side, which is currently showing that the cabinets will be placed outside of the room. If this is not the correct side, click the Change Wall Side button and you will see the opposite side become highlighted instead. Although all walls will switch their active sides, you should only concentrate on the wall you are currently wanting to fill with cabinets. When the correct side of the wall of interest is highlighted, click the corresponding wall number at the right, and you will be taken to the autofill screen. Be sure to view each video tutorial that corresponds to whatever category you have highlighted. For this video, we'll explain whatever is showing at the left part of the screen. After you have defined how you want to customize the filling of your chosen wall that is explained in those videos, click the OK button. If you are not satisfied with how your autofill has turned out, simply click the Erase Autofill button, and your last autofill will be erased with any other cabinets that you may have already placed still intact. Alternatively, you can restore the job to how it was prior to your autofill. 